Most of the vehicles which we tend to discuss in this series tend to be more from the racing world than from the speed record world. We have of course discussed though the Mercedes T80, kind of controversial from a political point of view, but at the same time very impressive from a sheer spec and tech point of view. Hugely powerful, extremely theoretically fast, a cool car if you want to look at it that way. This one is just like that, a speed derived vehicle designed by far and away for top end performance in particular, and the car in question is the somewhat ironically named Oldsmobile, because of course that's the brand, but specifically this is the Aerotech. Now this is a car that was built in the 80s as kind of a, a combination of record breaking and marketing to showcase some two litre four cylinder engines that Oldsmobile was offering in some of their, let's say, more conventional models. But three different versions of the Aerotech were initially produced. There were two different short tail versions and one long tail version. And even though these cars had two litre four cylinder engines, and were built on an IndyCar chassis, which then had a carbon fibre aero body fitted over the top of it, which doesn't necessarily sound like the most impressive thing ever. Carbon fibre, cool enough, but a 2 litre turbo, really? How fast is that really going to be? Maybe 200, 250? Well, actually no, because the short tail version, which was actually driven by AJ Foyt, who himself was an IndyCar driver, of course, hit 257 miles per hour. Then, though, the long tail version in 1987 hit 268. So literally Bugatti Veyron Supersport performance, but in the 80s, with an engine a quarter of the size in capacity and with around 200 horsepower less. Because this engine can produce around 900 or 1000 horsepower in either single or twin turbo form, but still, for a 2 litre turbo with really good aerodynamics, that is some incredible speed. Now, as far as the car's records, it went on to be further developed later on to have a 4-litre engine, a V8, and it broke 47 records in the 90s, the early 90s in particular. So this car, although certainly it is an unsung hero for the most part, it's not talked about that much by most people, it's a very significant car, because unlike the Mercedes T80, this one actually backed up its theoretical ability with real records. That is seriously impressive for a two litre car to still, by today's standards, be that fast. That's pretty cool. And the funniest thing of all, I personally think, is that one of these actually was up for sale on Craigslist. A short tail version was on there for $3.5 million. Which is kind of a steal, given how historically significant and just extremely fast the car is. Now, unlike many of the other cars in this series, in fact the vast majority of them, this car really stands out among unsung heroes in that it wasn't a failure. Many of the cars, as I said, most of them, in fact, in this series, were failures from a production point of view, or a racing point of view, or even something like the Mercedes T80, which never actually set those speed records. It was just theoretical. This one, though, has the so far exclusive task of actually setting itself those goals and succeeding in them. So a pretty impressive car, and of all the companies that you'd expect to do something like this, Oldsmobile probably isn't too high on the list, but the Aerotech is an awesome car, not exactly a conventional car, but potentially a vehicle which you could see on the road maybe, I should think you could probably road register it, you'd have to change some things around, but you can road register X race cars for instance, so it shouldn't be too difficult to road register this one, and as an interesting final point, this car way back in the 80s, as well as being fully carbon fibre in terms of its body, which is pretty good for the time, even now that's impressive, but it also had active underbody aero to control the airflow on the car. So a very impressive machine overall, impressive engines in particular, which was the whole point of the car, but also a great look to it, incredible performance, and a ton of records to its name. But that's it overall for this particular highlight. Of course, if you want to check out more unsung heroes that we've already done, you can click through to the playlist at the end of this video. But for now, as always, thanks for watching.